taught Georgian as a second language at USA, uh, Dartmouth College, probably you know Dartmouth College. And also I taught Georgian as a second language at Leiden University, Netherlands. Netherlands. So, what does it mean? Shibn, this is path, path, narrow way. Shib in Georgia. And Ushba, U, you know, this is negation particle, yeah, in Georgian. And A, this is suffix which derives now. And Ushba, that means mountain, rock mountain without path. Without pass, that means it's very difficult to go there. Mm -hmm. To go there, yeah. Let me explain another term. Kartvelian. What does it mean? Kartvelian. How to say Georgian in Georgian? Georgian person. Kartveli. Kartveli. Okay. And what's the name of this country in Georgian? Sa Kartvelo. And Kartvelian. They are Georgian and its sister languages, sister languages. So in linguistics, we have special term, Kartvelian languages, and that means Georgian and other Georgian languages. So we will speak today about Georgian and other Georgian languages and about Georgian throughout the century. Okay, that was the uh, first slide. Do you know, well, probably someone knows, do we have or not in Georgia the day of the Georgian language? Yes, we have. Okay, when uh, when it is? 14th of April. Yes, exactly. This is 14th of April. Yeah. Uh, do we know why this is Georgian? Why, why 14th of April is the day of the Georgian language? Do we know or not? Yes. Okay, can you say? Please, go on. Uh, yeah, because uh, there was some problems yes. uh, um, connected to... Um, Connected uh, to? The Union wanted to cancel uh, like the Georgian like, language, just you know, like state language. Or yep, something. exactly, exactly. In 1979. 78. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, 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 they go, go. Yeah. Uh, there was some, some demonstration. Yes. Okay. Students. Okay. <laughs> now we have now we have very many demonstrations, but that was very important. <laughs> To have demonstration 1978, uh, when here was Soviet Union, when here was when here was no demonstration, when here was only one party, and do you know who was the head of the Soviet government at the time? Representative. I mean Soviet Union. Yep, yeah, old guy. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Here we have Yeah. Yeah. This guy is Leonid Brezhnev. So, but uh, I would like to say that uh, at that time, Leonid Brezhnev decided to do something very important because he was not so strong and cruel like Stalin. He was not so strong as other uh, leaders. And he decided to do something very important and he changed constitution of the Soviet Union. That means he has uh, changed constitution of the Soviet Union uh, constitutions of other republics, I mean Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and they also must be changed. And they changed also constitution of the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic. And before we had another constitution that was constitution by Stalin, 1936. And in that constitution, Stalin's constitution, we are declared that in Georgia, state language is Georgian language. But when Brezhnev decided to change constitution, Georgia got project from uh, Moscow, and here was written that in Georgia, the uh, state language is Russian language. That's why here was demonstration. Mm -hmm. That's why here was demonstration. And that was very, very, very dangerous, because all demonstrations and all demonstrants there were killed in Soviet Union. Like, uh, okay, I can say many examples when people were killed, and uh, but still in Tbilisi we had demonstrations. Do you know what's that? <laughs> yes, you. Yes. yes, that's my university. Yeah. And students from, <laughs> yeah, students from my university and uh, teachers, professors, 
they were demos. Uh, they were people who went out and they went from uh, Jawadza the first to the uh, government building. To the go and people gathered together. It was uh, uh, it, that was. 14th of April 1978, and they uh, gathered there in front of the building of parliament. And there, inside the building, there they had a meeting, they had discussion what to do, adopt constitution or not, and so on and so forth. And uh, then it was, you know, uh, Tbilisi was the capital of the Georgian Soviet Socialist Republic, and near. Every capital there was so called eight, can I say in Russian, Vasmoy Polk. And uh, the goal of this uh, Vasmova Polka it was to punish city if he has something against Soviet government and Soviet um, um, lifestyle style of life. And it was very dangerous because everyone knew that here was so called eight or Vasmoy Polk, but we did not know that where it was, but we know that it is here. And it was very dangerous, but uh, this guy, and I know, I hope you all know this one, <laughs> this guy connected to, connected to Brezhnev, but it was very, very difficult to, con to get direct connect to Brezhnev, because uh, there were another guys also, is it was Suslo and Shevardnadze. Uh, got contact with Suslov, and Suslov uh, got contact with Brezhnev, and Brezhnev asked, what happens? What they want, what they want, and he was told that they want Georgian as a state language. And uh, Leonid Ilyich Brezhnev said, yes, that was 14th of April, and here was no killing, here was no battle and everything. So people who went there, they were back with singing and uh, joking and laughing, and, they, and that was 14th of April. That's why 14th of April uh, is a day of Georgian language, but it was later. So, uh, that was 1983, and Georgian uh, uh, sculptor Elbuja Amashvili made this monument of the... Uh, this is a uh, monument of the book Mother Tongue. Probably you know Mother <coughs> Tongue by Kogin Bashvili, Deda Ena, Mother Tongue. And this is idea that this is a book of Mother Tongue, so this is... Uh, Monument for Georgian language. Georgian language. What's that? <laughs> right. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. But is it is it India? <laughs> ah, China. <laughs> no. Okay. But here is Russia. Here is Iran. Here is Turkey. And here is Georgia, Armenia, and Azerbaijan. And here is. Caucasus Mountain, and this is ethno-linguistic uh, groups in the Caucasus. So, in this map, we have all languages spoken in Caucasus, all languages. But we should know that there are languages, so-called Caucasian languages. But first of all, I would like you to know that we have family of languages, family of languages. There, is, there are uh, many families of language, and one uh, is uh, Indo-European languages, uh, family of Indo-European languages. Okay. okay, what about English language? In which family it is? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Persian? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Russian? Mm -hmm. uh, why not? Why not? Yeah. Uh, as is Russian? No. <laughs> Russian? No, 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 no. They are there. Yeah. Yes, they are there. The idea is that in, in the European family of languages, here is branches. So here is a Slavic branch, and Russian is in Slavic branch. Here is... Uh, what about Armenian language? Where in Europe? Exactly. And Armenian language, in, in the European family of language, it has a separate single branch. Here is no more like Armenian language, only one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we will speak about uh, other languages also. Okay. But I would like to speak about Caucasian family of languages. Caucasian family of languages. Uh, so there was very famous Georgian linguist uh, Arnold Chikobala. 
this guy, I looked to Kabbalah, and by, by the way, you should remember, he was very, very, very important man in Georgian, in Soviet, and in war linguistics. Uh, we can say many things about Chikobawa, but today we will speak about his some terms proposed by Chikobawa. Iberian Caucasian family of languages. The term Iberian Caucasian or Iberian Caucasian was proposed by Georgian linguist Arnold Chikobawa for the non Indo European languages spoken north and south of the Caucasus mountain range. So that was Chikobawa. Actually, here is family of Caucasian languages. Family of Caucasian languages. Let me introduce the first group of the family of this. Okay, this is, okay, let's start from Georgian, South. The South Caucasian or Kartvelian Georgian languages. This is Georgian. This is Mingrelian. Do we have here Mingrelian students? Okay. <laughs> Good, good. Uh, Mingrelian or Mengrelian. Also, Las, Las, or Chan, and Svan. But uh, Chan and Las, they are in Turkey. Only one village, only one village, Ha village we have in Georgia. This is Sarpi, Sarpi, and another part of Sarpi, this is in Turkey. And more, or population, uh, last population, they are in Turkey, they are Turkey. But we have plenty of Mingrelians, we have Swans, and we have also Georgians here. <laughs> here is Abkhaz language, Abbas. Kabardian or Circassian, Circassian. We should we should say Circassian. In America they say Circassian. Ubih, and Ubih does not exist anymore. We don't have anymore. Okay, you know here is so-called alive languages and here is dead languages. You know how to we mm, definition of dead languages. If here is no people who use this language, this is dead language. Uh, that language uh, it's very sad, like Ubi, but Latin also is that language. Okay, does not exist anymore Ubi language. Uh, please don't be sad about that languages. There are very many dead languages. <laughs> <laughs> there are very many dead languages. Okay, you know, uh, I I was uh, teaching at Stony Brook University, Long Island, and they had very big uh, board, and there were very many photos, photos. And I asked one day, I asked to secretary Sandra, Sandra, who they are? And the answer was, oh, they are dead linguists. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Besides dead linguists, we have alive linguists. Besides dead languages, we have alive linguists. So, so uh, okay, Pakistan was called mountain of languages. And there are Avarian or Avar, Andian, Andi, Botvich, Godob. Uh, Chamal, Bagwal, Tindi, Karata, Aqua, Didoya, Dido, Karashi, Bejit, Kumzit, Kumzit, Lak Dagwa, Lak Dagwa, Kubach, Lesbian, I like Hinaluk, I like Hinaluk, you know? My American students, they remember Hinaluk. Do you know why they remember Hinaluk? They always say, okay, 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 I love that language, which is resembled to Georgian Hinkali. Hinaluk, they remember Hinaluk because of Hinkali. Uh, ah, yes, other languages in uh, Caucasus. Okay, in the European, Armenian language. Armenian language is in the European. Uh, and Russian language, Ukrainian, Ossetic language, Ossetic language in the European. Uh, Greek, Pontoic dialect, Persian, Kurdish, Kurdish we have even in Tbilisi, yeah? So, judeo Tak and Bukhori. Uh, Turk languages we have here, this is Azerbaijani, Baltar, Karachei, Kumut and Dogai. Semitic languages, this is Assyrian, Assyrian, neo Aramaic. Do you know here is village uh, close to Tbilisi, it's called Kanda. Do you know? Mm -hmm. And there are very many people who speak this language. And they, why, why, why I always say Kartvelian? Not because I am Georgian. Because Kartvelian and Georgian is only one language who has its own script. I mean, mm, uh, alphabet. And its own history of uh, literary language, 15, now 16th century uh, literary language history. That's why Kartvelian 
את אבחס אביגב, נח דמיסטר, אין דחייאיס. דחייאיס אין עזר, דחייאיס אין עזר, היפוטזיס, היפוטזיס, זאת. Uh, there are very interesting people who live in North Spain and South France. They are Basque people, Basque people. And uh, Basque language, they say El Vasco, uh, has hypothesis that it's related also to Caucasian languages. But Russian is different and Georgian is different. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, we have in Russian and we have play in Georgian, but uh, Georgian uh, is uh, different because Georgian uh, is global consonant. But it's a Okay, so ergative construction, ergative construction. Do you know ergative and Georgian? All Georgian knows ergative construction. This is so called ergative case, ma, with ending ma. Katz ma. Ashena Sakhle, a man built a house. That's ma. It could be ma or m. When he, we when we have consonant final word, then we have ma. That's ma. But when we have vowel final word, then we have when then we have a the dam machuka satuale. So so when he was first split, Swan language went separately. That's why that's why Swan language is far from Georgian, from Mingrelian, from uh, last languages. But Georgian, Mingrelian and last, they are more close. But uh, still we have similarities with Swan and Georgian language. Okay, I can say some similarities. And even we have here this similarities. Uh, this is... Uh, uh, okay, so... Uh, here is Georgian language. Uh, okay, can I... So, this is Georgian, this is Georgian. Membrelia, Las, and Swan. Las and Swan languages. But now we can uh, check uh, this one. Okay. Uh, Georgian Katsi. Georgian Katsi. And Membrelian Kochi. You see, to, to Georgian A corresponds Membrelian O. Katsi, Kochi. Uh, Asi, Georgian, 100. And Oshi. Will be. Okay, but if here is Georgian katami, what will be in Mengrelian? Oh, kotomi. Yeah, so because Georgian A and Mengrelian O. Yeah. But, so, I told, I said that there are similarities between Georgian and Mengrelian. Swan is separate, but still we have similarities between Georgian, common lexical material between Georgian, Swan and Mengrelian. Pay attention. Katami. Kotomi and in Swan Katam. The origin of the Georgian alphabet is supposedly ascribed to Parnawaz the first. That was Georgian king very, very, very long time ago. Uh, the first king of Kartli in ancient Georgian kingdom, known as Iberia. Uh, some scholars assume that Georgian script is, uh, existed before Georgia was converted to Christianity. In uh, 326 uh, AD, Christianity was adopted as a state religion by the rulers of Iberia, King later Scient Miriam III and Queen later Scient Nana. Uh, there are three historical systems of Georgian alphabet. This is so called Asom Kavruli or Grumovani from beginning to 9th century. Second one is Blushuri from 9th century to the 11th century. And the last one is Hedruli from 11th century to till today. This is an uh, example of the ancient Georgian inscription, Asom Kauli or Glovani, from the Georgian church in Bethlehem. This is mosaic inscription and that was uh, found uh, 1952 by Italian archaeologist Virgilio Corbo and uh, this is where you see how it's very uh, beautiful and uh, perfect writing. And this is uh, another example of the ancient Georgian inscription Asom Tauri on Gurari from the church Bolnisi Sioni near Tbilisi. If you don't, if you can't go to Bethlehem, you can go to Bolnisi and see <laughs> this church. Uh, uh, and here is uh, uh, when it was uh, uh, made. 
And this is an um, example of the church, the Georgian script, as of Tavulon Duali from 10th century. And uh, again, so pay attention, this is so called first one, as of Tavulon Duali, so called rounded letters. But this one is second, Nushuri, Kuthuri, uh, with angles letters. This is the different, second one. And the last one is Mkhedruli, and now you see. Uh, examples of the decorated initial letter of Georgian script, Mkhedruli. Mkhedruli, why, why, why it is called Mkhedruli? Who knows? Now we have a very clever student, probably you know why is it was, <laughs> how, but why this one is called Mkhedruli. Who is Mkhedari? <laughs> Someone? Mkhedari, say in English, horseman. Horseman. So, uh, the first one, uh, Asun Tauruli, and the second one, Nushuri, were used in church. And the uh, Mkhedruli uh, horseman's alphabet was used by civilian people. And that's why that's why Mkhedruli uh, and the military comes from this word, Samhedro. Samhedro. Okay. okay, so this is decorated M. And uh, I can show another. This is decorated U again from Mkhedruli. But that one is very important. Now, Letters and sound of modern Georgian. Modern Georgian is very, very, very simple because we have only five vowels. <coughs> Who knows how many vowels, how many vowels American have? They have plenty of vowels. <laughs> yeah, we have only five vowels and we can read this vowel like they are A, E, I, O, U. We don't have O. We don't have O. Okay. <laughs> And we have only 28 consonants, and you know this one, yeah? So, but, but, in old Georgian, we had more uh, letters, and uh, they are now out of Georgian alphabet. Letters not used from 19th century. Ilya Chavchavadze was the, who was Ilya Chavchavadze? Ilya Chavchavadze. Huh? Linguist. No. 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 no, 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 he was sorry, not linguist, but he has some writing in economics. Uh, he was uh, one of the director of uh, Satavadas Nauru uh, Banki, Nobel People Bank in Georgia in the 19th century. Uh, <laughs> Writer, writer, writer and public man in 19th century, 19th century. And Ilya Javadze was the first person who removed or deleted or cancelled those letters from Georgian alphabet. Unfortunately, he was not a linguist, but he considered Georgian people don't say this one. Why we need them in Georgian alphabet? And they are Iota. Wood, 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 uh, this one, this one. We have this one now. This one is this one, and this one is this one. Wood, k, 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 which is used in Swan language today. V, A, O, and F. And uh, now we don't have them anymore in Georgian alphabet. And uh, so, uh, now, now. Why Georgian alphabet is very uh, simple. So, unlike many other languages, there are no capital letters. We don't have capital letters. Now, so here is a very great problem. We, Georgian, when we are teaching to Georgian students, we hate Georgian alphabet. It's very good. We don't have capital letters. And it's good. That's okay. But that means for whom this is good? For Georgians, that's okay. But for Americans, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> because always my American students, they ask me, how can I know which one is proper name, which one is uh, person name, which one is city name, if there is no capital letters? Yes? Okay. Uh, probably, probably someone knows Russian language. In Russian language, we have symbol of softness and we have symbol of hardness. Yes, this one. Okay. We yeah, have this one. one. We have this one and we have this one. They are not phoneme. They don't have meaning. But they can only make uh, softness if here is t, smyakim, smyakam, that will be t. That means in Georgian we don't have like this 
all Georgian letters, they are phonemes. They have exact complement. Each sound corresponds to one letter. We don't have, like English people have CH or SH, we don't have. Uh, in Georgian, uh, uh, so you see, here is one letter, and here is one letter. We, in, in Georgian, we don't have sound, I mean, phoneme, which we have to write with two or three letters. No. And each letter corresponds to one phoneme. For instance, in, uh, for the, there is no letter like O in Russian, which, depending in context, can be pronounced like O and, or like A. Okay, how to say water in Russian? Water in Russian. Oh, okay, but how to say waters, mineral waters? Vody. So, vada and vody. We don't have this one. That's why it's simple. Now, please, pay attention to this guy. This is Yakov Tsultaveli. Who knows who was Yakov Tsultaveli? Right. Sorry? Who was? Priest. 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 Actually, <laughs> he was priest. He was priest and, and also right. But first, he was priest. And uh, this is the author. Martyrdom of science, Shushani. Martyrdom of science, Shushani. And that was written. That was written between, that was written between, why I always write with black? Okay, let me write, she was tortured. Yes, let me write in red. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep, she was written in this uh, period. Uh, not she was written, the novel was written. No, novel was written. No, was written. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, and this is so-called a geographical, a geographical uh, novel, and uh, she is a person, you know this story, yes? So her husband betrayed her and betrayed country. He went to Iran and got uh, some uh, different Basdianity and got some support from Iranian king. And uh, uh, his wife, uh, Shushanik, became supporter of Christianity, and that's why she was tortured and she became very, very, very famous. This is typical hagiographical novel, and that was written in this time, in this time. And this is the first Georgian novel. And by the way, Shushanik was Armenian, and Georgia and Armenia, they were in alliance against to Iran. And uh, this novel was translated uh, in Armenian language, and uh, this novel we have until today in Georgian church as church literature, and she is signed. Uh, next one is uh, Yakov Sultaveli. Yakov Sultaveli. Yakov Sultaveli. Yakov Sultaveli. this Sultaveli. Yakov Sultaveli. Yakov Sultaveli. Yakov Sultaveli. this Sultaveli. Yakov Sultaveli. Yakov this is now not this is not uh, hagiographical uh, writing. This is Cyril, and this is Chantal Mustaveli, and he is the author of famous Georgian uh, poem, Writing Tiger's Skin. And uh, you know this one, and that was uh, uh, another type of uh, 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 in development of Georgian language. It was different step. Okay, uh, and this is his poem uh, in Georgian, that is now sung. And uh, now uh, we have his uh, rhyme, his rhyme, and you know, he is in Georgian and he is in English, and English version was translated by Marjorie and Wollywood Wardrop, who we are here in Georgia 100 years ago, and they were English counselor. And uh, why I show this, uh, this uh, rhyme? So, then Daichi Gapsikus, you know Georgian, Zavit Roller Sardovani, Liz Gapoler Gastrikus, and so on and so on. Here, here is the idea that from 12th century, when was written this uh, poem, we already have current Georgian language. I mean, current Georgian literary language. When we say literary language, we uh, mean language of book, language of uh, language with special norms, because uh, here is um, standard language, standard language. And this is uh, by Chikobawa, this is beginning of current Georgian standard language. 
But here is another very famous Georgian linguist, and I would like you know this is Agaki Sharidze. This is one of the founders of Tbilisi State University. Uh, this guy lived a long life, 100 years, pay attention. Mm -hmm. But uh, he said, uh, actually he was 102 when he died, because when he was born, it was 19th century, and uh, uh, at the time they don't uh, register the uh, new birth uh, child immediately, because there were some illness, some problem, and if child alive, then they will keep, and so on, and so on, then you can register. <laughs> well, why, why register previously? Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 and probably he was 102. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you should uh, hurry? If there is some problems, then you have got another certificate, their certificate. Yeah. <laughs> yes. ah, that was black humor. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, okay. Agaki Sharinze was a very famous Georgian linguist, and uh, he, um, he was a man with charm. He lived a long life. He lived all his life in Soviet Union, but he was not a member of the Communist Party. He was academic, he was professor, and he was a, a man with charm. I listened to him only once in my life, because uh, that was 1986 at the time, I still was young, that was after my Swanetti trip, and I was a uh, postgraduate student, and Agati Sharidze was 99 years old at the time that he came to university and he gave speech about Nigoma, another language, to his teacher. And uh, he was, that was brilliant, that was brilliant. According to, uh, Sharidze was teacher of Chikobawa, the linguist which I saw first. According to Sharidze, we have three stage of Georgian literary language, three stage of Georgian literary language. And this one, uh, this is, um, so, first stage is all the Georgian literary language. This is from 5th century until 11th, from this time, when he was written this novel, a geographical novel. And this is all the Georgian literary language, so-called hagiographical. Uh, do you know this term, hagiographical? Hagiography, that means here is a story about church people, sign, uh, sign people, uh, and every Christian country has this one. Um, Irish people have about Saint Patrick and so on. Uh, okay, Middle Georgian literary language. This is from 12th century until 18th century. So according to Shanidze, Shotarustavel is here, and Neo Georgian literary language from 19th century, from Ilya Chantraladze. And today we have current Georgian language, which is full of with slangs, with jargons. Okay? Uh, <laughs> and I love this painting. I love this photo. <laughs> this is Signal. This is Signal. This is very nice. That was my presentation. Yes. 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 Yes.